your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather lil payton got the trophy I indeed know. i guess she said listen the show must go I on know. that is the real definition of a team player I'll absolutely it, because it would take some guts for uh, me to go out there by myself to represent my entire team to do that <sighs> But, unimaginable. Uh, well, have you ever done cheerleading? Um, I did peewee cheerleading, Aww. so when I was in kindergarten, but my thing was baton. I was into majorette, and I did that literally since I was um, probably about five or six. Oh, that's, that's a that talent. That was my thing. I was um, majorette in high school, majorette captain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was my thing. What about you? No, I was more into dance. That was more, more my okay, thing, dance, not necessarily yeah. cheer, but I yeah. love the Bring It On movies. Well, really, oh, the, yeah, the first too. one. Yeah, was my mom was one. always scared for me to do cheerleading. She was the cheerleader, but she knew that since I was so little and petite, she was afraid I was going to be the flyer. Ah. So she was like, no way, Jose. Oh, okay. <laughs> she didn't want to take a risk. No, she don't. I don't blame her, though, because <laughs> I have seen some pretty scary accidents come from cheerleading. Oh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Well, it was a good day to get outside and do some cheerleading if that's what you're into. We saw temperatures warm once again this afternoon, upper 70s for us here in the Tennessee Valley. 79 was the high temperature today in Huntsville, Pulaski, 77 in Athens and Decatur, 78 was the high temperature today in Coleman. But it does look like temperatures are going to be on a downslope for the rest of the next seven days. We'll see one more 70 degree day tomorrow. A cold front moves through, drops us back down into the upper 50s, and then it looks like we'll rebound back into the low. 60s for Friday before another cold front moves through and drops temperatures once again back down into the 50s, which is below average for this time of year. So there's the first cold front we're expected to see. It's inching closer to the Tennessee Valley. Clouds are starting to increase out ahead of it, but it does look like it is a dry cold front, so I'm not expecting to see any rain from it. Just some clouds that you see right now on top of Montesano. Temperatures still warm out there in the low 70s, 74 right now uh, on top of Montesano, but it is going to be uh, rather warm all across the Tennessee Valley at the moment. Notice we're still in the mid and upper 70s, 78 right now in Coleman, 76 in Huntsville, 75 in Florence and Russellville, 77 right now in Scottsboro. But heading into the night tonight, we are going to be a tad warmer than what we were last night. We'll see the mid 50s for the overnight tonight and we'll continue to see a partly cloudy sky because of those clouds building ahead of that frontal boundary we're expecting to move through. So mid 50s waking up tomorrow. Gradually going to make our way to the low 60s by 9 a.m. Notice we'll see mostly sunshine to partly sunshine for the afternoon. And like I mentioned earlier, it does look like temperatures are going to top out right around 73 degrees for our afternoon highs. So here is the frontal boundary we're tracking. I'm expecting it to move through sometime throughout the overnight, but accompanying it is a stationary front. That's going to sit off to our south, going to keep rain chances increased through Wednesday. Stay. And then we will see a warm front sit to our south heading into Wednesday night. Sometime Thursday it will start to lift, but we are going to keep elevated rain chances in the forecast for your Thursday as well before we've got our second cold front that's expected to move through sometime at the end of this week. So rain chances, enjoy the dry day while we've got it tomorrow because we've got about a 60% for your Wednesday, 80% for Thursday and Friday. But looking ahead into the week, it does look like we've got minimal opportunities for rain. So the weekend does look like it is going to be good here in the Tennessee Valley. But I'm hoping this rain will wash them away, this pollen. I've been noticing it, and honestly, I'm scared of it because I hate this time of year because of the pollen. And our allergy levels, mold and trees are high while our grass is on the mild category. But I uh, also want to bring your attention to time changing. Daylight saving time begins on Sunday. Notice the sunset today, 5 47. On Sunday, it's going to be 651. So we're getting ready to start uh, being like spring and eventually making our way into summer. Your seven day forecast looks like this low 70s for tomorrow. Rain returns back to the forecast Wednesday, Thursday. A few thunderstorms mixed in with the rain on Friday, 64 degrees, and it looks like we'll end the next seven days in the 50s. But notice uh, this time next week, low 50s, a few showers going to be possible.